What's up, guys? More trailer stuff. Last sheet, hopefully, of half-inch plywood that I have to break down. So this could be fun. Um, I've got three drawers left to build. Actually, that's live. Four drawers to build and um, a little cubby area, a couple little oddball things. So hopefully my last sheet, we'll see how far I can yield out. And I've also got one eight-foot drawer that I forgot that I have to build. So that's probably going to screw this over. But I um, figured I would set up a time-lapse camera and capture some of the breakdown. And we can talk about uh, how these drawers work and how I assemble them. All right, so in the tool trailer, I have this one bank of drawers, which I added. Uh, these two banks of drawers used to be like those ones, but I chopped them down in a previous uh, iteration of this. And I've got a little cubby thing to build there and the air compressor cubby. So uh, first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to put these three drawers back in, and then I'm going to put these three drawer bottoms in their places so that I can get an accurate measurement of the height I need for the drawers that I'm going to build. All right, so I have the drawers back in place. I made a subtraction error uh, and I marked 19 and three quarters. I meant to mark 19 and a quarter, so I'll have to trim a half inch off of each of these to get the depth correct because right now they're just a little bit proud. Um, but what I can do next is I can measure from here to here and then I can subtract, you know, like eighth of an inch, three sixteenths of an inch, something like that. And everything will work nicely. All right. So now I have the bottoms back in here. Uh, I took a minute and already trimmed off that half inch that you guys saw, um, miss uh miss subtracted in there so and then what i did is when i put had the drawers in there i took a measurement and put it on the back so i have uh four and three eighths on this guy which is my total height from the top of the drawer to the bottom of the next drawer or the top of the bottom of this drawer to the bottom of the next drawer another one at four and three eighths and then i think this one was at four and three quarters yeah so uh, what we'll do is I'm going to take an eighth of an inch off of each of those measurements and that's going to be the uh, rip that I need to make for the front to back and the two sides. And then the way that these boxes are built, uh, you want to put the sides on full length and then put the front and back in between them so that you can run some trim screws in through the end here. And the screws this way will have a lot more holding power when you go to actually pull the drawer versus having them this way to where when you pull on it, you could probably take this whole chunk right off. Um, you know, there's less holding power in the end of the trim screw than there is against the whole screw this way. So um, we know our actual depth here is at 19 and a quarter. So I'm going to cut four and five eighths, which is an eighth of an inch less in height by 19 and a quarter for my sides and then these two pieces in my case I need like 20 and a quarter or something like that so we'll cut uh, these guys front and back to fit in between uh, these ones at four and three eighths tall we have two of those um, we're going to build these ones out at four and a quarter so that they'll be that eighth inch of height in between the top of this drawer and the bottom of the next one and then the same thing applies, 19 and a quarter in the uh, depth here on the sides, and then 20 and a quarter front and back. So I'm going to get on the table saw next. We'll make a bunch of rippers, slice them down on the capex, and then we can assemble these drawers. All right, so I got my two sides at 19 and a quarter and then my front and back all ready to go. I tried to pay attention to 
um, which side was the A or the C side and kind of put that away. And then the uh, A side, I'm gonna put uh, in on the sides and the back and then in on the front. This is the best looking one. So um, that's that. I have some inch and a half GRK trim screws that we'll use for this. Uh, I ran out of inch and a quarters, so inch and a half will have to do. Uh, I got the T15 and the little surge, and then uh, I thought this was kind of funny. I just talked to all this mad shit about these shockwave bits and got the regular length bits. And then I must have lent out all of my drills because I have no regular chucked drills. So here I am using the shockwave for a pilot bit. So... Um, yeah, I'm going to set up the time lapse quick and we'll fire this these together and then I found that it's easiest to assemble these and then set the bottom on and then uh, square it all up and then screw it down so that it's finished. We'll probably go get the brad gun out and just brad that on. I don't really see any point in getting super crazy with it. So I almost forgot before we get crazy we should run the whole saw in here, connect them with the jigsaw, round that over to make our handle. Um, that brings me back to not having a drill. So maybe a little bit overkill, but uh, I guess we'll use the whole hog to drill an inch and a half hole a couple times so we can finish up these drawers. So there you have it. That is uh, assembly of the drawer. Pretty simple and straightforward. Um, some I went and got the uh, 18 gauge gun with some like one inch brads in it to kind of help quickly tack it all together. And then went back with the surge combo there and uh, set all of my trim screws. So now you can kind of see what the construction the reason that we ran the sides long is so that you have that inch and a half, you know, I have two inch and a half trim screws on either side. So when you pull on this, you know, you're pulling against the whole length of the screw instead of just the head. And then we put some screws up from the bottom too. So this thing is super solid. It's got glue on the bottom and on each of these laps. So for a trailer drawer, it should work just fine. All right, so I guess we will see if it works. Uh, this will be a little tricky, I'm sure, because fingers and a camera and every other thing, but there is the uh, there is the finished product. So just like I said, I wanted like an eighth of an inch there, um, just enough that you can easily open and close. Uh, we're riding nicely on either side of the dados here so life is good i'm gonna go knock out these two and then i believe all of the drawers in the trailer less the one eight footer i got to build on this side will be built out and assembled well imagine that almost an entire year later all the drawers in the trailer are built except for the one eight footer. So almost all the drawers are built, but um, I think all I'm gonna keep in that long eight foot drawer is like some sawhorses and stuff. So I consider this to be a win. Um, I plan on putting M12 and DeWalt batteries in this drawer, M18 batteries up top. And then way down on the bottom, uh, I have some Craig jig and other kind of jig stuff. So um, yeah. That's that. Uh, hopefully that'll help you guys if you are also trying to build some drawers. Um, pretty simple process. A little bit of a math, a little bit of math, and a little bit of elimination uh, will help you guys to uh, figure these out and build them out. Uh, more trailer stuff coming, and get these lights all permanent. 
the rest of the wiring done and uh, start staining stuff. So uh, thanks for watching. Make sure to like and subscribe down below and I'll see you guys in the next one.